Okay, <laughs> we're back again with Five for Five. Hi! Makeup less. We'll explain that in a second. <laughs> and Malatya, and this is Trumpet. And uh, we're gonna do our five most essential like makeup products to wear on our faces if we have nothing. So we have nothing on right now. Yeah. I have moisturizer. <laughs> is that cheating? Is moisturizer not cheating? Is it? No, moisturizer is no. not okay. cheating. That's okay. like that's that's a, a prime essential. Yes. So that's not even like that's a, not even that's not makeup. Yeah. No. Okay. Okay. So five only five things you put on your face. Um, five is hard. I thought it would be quite easy, but I there's a couple like once like once I have the top three, like mm -hmm. picking the last two is really hard. I thought. Yeah. 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 So I'm not sure if I should start with okay. I, I always think I can get away with not having some sort of foundation on. I always think this. And then I go out in public and I see myself in daylight and I'm like, whoa, you know, like, <laughs> this, you know, the unevenness, the splotchy just glares out in sunlight and everything like that. So I'm thinking my first one, it has to be foundation. It's, I mean, I think I can get away with it, but I think now I can't. Like, I, I'm pretty convinced now that I probably can't get away with foundation if I, if, you know, if I want to like a polished look. I'm yeah. positive that that's my first one. I mean, yeah. I, I hate my face without foundation now. I, I know everybody says that you can do without foundation. I just watched you tell me you could do without foundation all over your face in your video today. And, oh, yeah. <laughs> and I was sitting there like yelling at you going, no, I can't go without foundation. I'm telling you, I have to have it. <laughs> Well, I didn't say you could you could go no, without but, foundation. But I, but I not, just, yeah, I, my whole face needs it. Well, you have a lot of redness I around your face that you're taming down, so yes. that's different. Um, yes. That's a... It's but blushing. again, you don't have redness around here, you know, and you no, don't have, have redness on your forehead. No, but I have discoloring from, um, you know, from ah. sun abuse, basically, mm -hmm. up especially around my hairline where I, like, um, let's see, like where I've gotten maybe burnt or too tanned when I was mm -hmm. young and so that so see it's very discolored around here and if I was mm -hmm. to deal with that with concealer I'd be like doing my whole forehead in concealer so yeah yeah that's true yeah okay yeah okay so what are you using um, I, I took down the um, Chanel Vita Lumiere because it's not my favorite foundation it's almost my favorite foundation but because when I use the um, Dior, which is normally my favorite one, the for Forever, I mm -hmm. usually use a primer under it, the Chanel LeBlanc primer, because I feel like it gives mm -hmm. it a bit more glow. And this one, mm -hmm. I get the glow without without using the primer. And since I couldn't use the primer, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I couldn't. I didn't want to use up a, a one of the five. I picked this one. So okay, yeah. And is that, that's for oily skin or for No, the, dry Vita, skin? Lu, the Vita Lumiere is actually for dry skin. So it's a moisture rich, radiance fluid makeup. The okay. one that's for oily skin is called Vita Lumiere Aqua, okay. which didn't make sense to me. I mean, I thought when I went in to ask about it, I thought I would want the Vita Lumiere Aqua because I have dry skin. The Aqua to me said, you know, moisture, but because it's, yeah, yeah. it's, because it's more water based that it suits oily skin. So this, the mm -hmm. regular Vita Lumiere is actually for dry skin. So There's a matte, isn't there too, a, a, like matte velvet? Yes, I haven't tried for, it, have you? For super oily skin. No, I mean, see the problem is my oily skin is around right here, above my eyebrows, right there, all along this area right here, and then it just stops right here, and then it's dry over here. So, so you I actually mean, it's have like a combination skin. Yeah, I have combination skin, so. I, I would love the matte velvet sort of look, but I, you know, I probably would have to go with, I don't know, it, it's, I don't know, I don't, I really, I haven't played enough with foundation to really know. I do like the water-based foundation, so I, I'm guessing I do go for more oily, because I, you know, at the end of the day, all this definitely starts to come down here, you know, like, eventually, the oiliness makes its way all around your skin. You should um, go ask them to put, like, a water, like, the Vita Lumiere Aqua or a matte one on your face. Oh, you don't like that? I, yeah, I guess I could ask them just to put it on. I just don't like the pitch. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah. I just want to play with it myself and look. Um, I honestly don't trust those girls. 
No. No offense. No offense. I don't know if how to watching. explain it. Like, yeah. no. I think they're like, you know, they're young and they don't really know what they're doing. And, <laughs> and I want a real, you know, I really want a real makeup artist to tell me, you know, like what's going on. I don't want someone who's trying to sell me something yes. Um, yes. to tell me. And that's it's a big difference. Um, not that I don't think those girls know how to put on makeup. I think they do. I just think that they're, they have a, Whenever they have an agenda. Them, yeah, they, they have, have an agenda. agenda. Yeah. They're trying to say, the, trust it there's much. some, like, the, I, I've run into maybe a couple that I've ever trusted, but whenever I've come to that conclusion, I've actually always walked out with, like, way more than I planned. So either they're just really good at making me feel like they're not trying to sell me stuff, or, yeah. you know. Yeah. <laughs> So which oh, one no, are you using? You look gorgeous. I'm using the uh, Wet n Wild Intuitive Blend, and this is the one that actually blends into your skin tone. But they do have different. Um, this one's like 176 light, so it actually it's a start. It starts lighter than most of them. So, okay. And I think I don't have a really light complexion, but um, you look pretty have pale for than, you to me. Yeah. At the moment. It's, I mean, it's yeah. winter, so yeah, yeah. 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 Not pale sure. like sick pale, but like yeah. And it comes on like white like and then as you start to rub it into your skin it changes like, color see, it starts to change colors a little bit i tried an so. all may one like that once so yeah so i'm actually using my fingertips with this one um because it they recommended it to me when i bought it to not use a brush because really? Because of the way of the formula is a lot of it. Well, they said definitely don't use a blending sponge. You'll like use it up before it's even. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. But the same thing I find happens when I use the brush. I feel like it just um, disappears into the brush rather than. So I end up using a lot more product. Yeah. I just have a lot of discoloration around my nose area, my mouth area around my chin so I usually just do it like right around here I mean obviously I have my sunspots from yeah you know they're freckles sunspots, sunspots but yeah <laughs> sure <laughs> freckles yeah I, I feel like I really have to do my sides of my face quite a lot because of the redness and splotchiness mm -hmm. that I get no, the sides of my face are actually the only thing that's actually decent so uh, what is rosacea do you know it's discoloration. It's uh, <clears throat> of the skin. It's basically a fancy way of saying discoloration of the skin. Yeah. Like redness or hyperpigmentation or I, I think it's redness. I think it's. I think it's easy. redness too. Mm -hmm. so, so I looked it up after seeing it on like a couple of makeup artists talking about yeah, it a lot. Yeah. Like, if you have a lot of rosacea, you know, you'll need to put this. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and like I still have a ton left. Um, so I put too much on my... On your finger. Yeah. On my finger. So I... This doesn't... I mean, this doesn't give me, like, full coverage so that I now have a flawless complexion, but it evens everything out to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I just feel so much better about my whole face because <laughs> it just... Yeah. Because yeah. it just evens. And how does it... Does it feel? Like, do you feel it at all? Nah, it feels like moisturizer going in. It feels oh, amazing. Okay. It really... Yeah. Like... Yeah, no. It... I don't like foundations like that make me feel like I'm wearing something on top of my face, you know? Yeah. Like I, I don't like that at all. So um, I like the more moisture rising. I like them to have like some skincare properties in them as well as yeah. just the coverage. That would be nice. Yeah. Those are more expensive though. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah I, I like that too. I, I had tried, you know, I remember I told you I hated foundation on my skin because I just yeah, feel it yeah. and it starts at the end of the day. I just feel like I feel it's starting to like actually, you know, like the chemicals on my, you know, the, the interaction with the chemicals on my face actually feels like, you know, craziness going on. I can feel at the end of the day, I even feel like spots coming up, you know, uh, so whatever I was using before was just too heavy. Um, yeah. And I like this. I mean, it smooths on pretty much to nothingness. I love that. Yeah. Um, I would love something a little bit more moisturizing probably, but I would say that this is, I like this one a lot. This is definitely my go-to right now, aside from the uh, Isadora Hydrolite, which I do for a little bit more coverage than this one, but um, I am really liking this one a lot, a ton. Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> What's your second thing? Okay, my second thing is 
concealer. I mean, I guess the, 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 the base of the face is like, it's too, it's gotten to the point where I'm too old to not, to, I, I can't ignore like trying to like correct a lot of things. Um, especially because I do have breakouts or I had breakouts. Oh, luckily I haven't, there's no real wood around here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had a breakout in a really long time um, since I started using the Clear Sonic and changing my uh, facial so soap back to where uh, to your what I usual used to use. Yeah. Uh -huh. And, um, but, uh, you know, I had a lot of breakouts when I first came to Germany and, you know, I have, I had spots here, 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 here. I mean, like, they were just everywhere. They just kept popping up and they go away, like, you know, decently, like within two weeks or something like that. But then they scar for like months and months and months. And, um, so I really don't know a good way to get rid of them easily. So I have to conceal them until they go away. And so that's kind of what my concealer is mostly for. I mean, I have a, I don't really have dark circles underneath my eyes, but I do have pigmentation from, you know, just, um, I, just, you know, the normal veins, you know, yeah. underneath yeah. my eyes, you can see the purple and stuff like that. So I do like to cover that up a little bit. So it's not as big a deal. Um, I find just, I feel more comfortable whenever these scars are gone. Yeah. So. so I I used two different kinds of concealer and I had to pick because I mm -hmm. didn't have room for both. So I use one for like um, where I've had um, like cold sore breakouts and they leave like, pigmentation for a long time. And this mm -hmm. actually was, um, it was this one. This actually was the stupid facial woman taking out, you know, um, I get milia bumps. And she took uh, those bumps? little white bumps. <clears throat> the, you know, like little fat bumps. Do you know, like little white bumps? They're not pimples. They're like little fat deposits. I've actually got so, one inside my... Like whiteheads? Is that what no, it's called? No, it's called milia. I don't know. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yes. Yes, yes okay. Mm -hmm. So she tried to take it <clears throat> off and she actually... <clears throat> like broke into my skin and it's taking oh. forever to go away again and I would normally use something over there a more yellow based concealer mm -hmm. but I had to choose between like a yellow based concealer for those spots mm -hmm. or the thing that really like I think makes such a huge difference for me is the Bobbi Brown corrector which is um, it's a pink based one so this mm -hmm. is in light bisque. I have, sometimes I use the Chanel one instead. And um, it's a pink based concealer. And the Goss make, makeup artist, Wayne, isn't that his name? He talks about this a lot. And um, he recently had a concealer video and he talks about correcting the darkness just in here. Mm -hmm. And I feel like this is like the best thing for opening up my eyes because I have quite small eyes. And yeah. I, so I had to choose between the two different kinds of concealer, so I picked this one because I just feel like it does more for me than covering those things up. Now, is that what is that made out of? Is that was that powder? No, or? This is a cream. It's a cream. Okay. So I apply it with the Sigma mm -hmm. P eighty six because it's nice and pointed, and it um, yeah, I just really like it. So it's a cream. And you just dab it in there till it covers up that stuff. I think I'm, I need a cream or something because I've been using, you know, more of the liquid sort of found, um, concealers. And I find that they do a good job with sort of, you know, just sort of, sort of camouflaging, but they don't conceal. Like, I mean, I can still see it, you know, like I tried so hard to get rid of this, you know, my video and, um, it just, you can still see it, you know, and yeah. I think it's because this is water-based, you know, or, or something, and, yeah. and it just doesn't actually have a layer over the, yeah. you know, the, the spot I want to... What's that uh, MAC one that everybody raves about? <clears throat> is it the Studio Fix or something? That's like a cream, too. I don't know. I'm thinking about trying the Laura Mercier one, because then I can mix the colors. Yeah. The only problem is I don't know which one, you know, it's like SC1, SC5, you know, I'm like, which one is it? You know, I'm like, <laughs> which one do I need? <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm like, I thought it was SC3, but then I'm like, Lisa Eldridge uses SC3 on herself. And I'm like, there's no way I'm like, you know, the same... But you, you, like but you said yourself that she uses a lot of light right now. So she might look lighter to you on film than she does to herself. That's true, yeah. 
it is incredibly changing. Uh, I even notice when I use light versus no light, like yeah, you can actually see like how dark my skin tone actually is. You know, whenever I don't use lighting, and it depends on how close I put the lights to. Yeah. 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 Maybe. Maybe yeah. that's it. But I still have a hard time thinking that I'm the same skin tone as her. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Okay. But the other thing I was going to say about this stuff. What was that? Oh, some. I just wanted to mention that someone told me in a comment on one of my older videos that um, I should try the Giorgio Armani corrector. And I mean. You know me, I'll probably end up buying it. <laughs> yeah, that was my massive eye roll. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I just put this in my corners of my eyes until I feel like the blue, like I feel it's just about blue in there. It's so dark, mm -hmm. especially. Now, when you touch your finger to your eye right there, do you actually feel the cartilage? Is it already touching the bone right there? Is that yes. why it's recess so much yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's like yeah mm -hmm. so I'm using the uh, infallible indefectible L'Oreal one that I found um, this is just I think what is this one in honey radiant honey yeah. so yeah and I'll just like dab that right there and there and I, and I have tried using a brush to smooth it out to see if, like, maybe that would help me. Yeah. But even that, I don't know. Maybe I'm just not packing it on enough? I don't know. It scares me to pack on too much because I feel like, um, I don't want it to look like I have globs of stuff on my face, you know? What do you think? Is that hot or what? <laughs> you can, you're photo ready. <laughs> I am. I think it's, I'm set. National Geographic, bring it on. <laughs> and I did watch Lisa Eldridge's like concealer video and all that. Yeah, well, but, but she she's she like mostly magic uses fingers. that cream Laura Mercier thing for the whole. No, actually, she didn't. She I thought she used like some sort of palette. Well, she has a very teeny tiny brush. Yeah, I have one of those too. I have like one of these things. And she just sort of dots it perfectly over. Yeah. And then touches that it and it's cute. magically gone. <laughs> yeah. <It's> like, <laughs> See, I think that I've just, I've just done that like just in the corners and just to like right down here. And I just feel like it mm -hmm. opens my eyes so much. Mm -hmm. I don't know. If, maybe it's like my imagination, but... I feel like my eyes just look far less tired after I do that. Well, I mean, anytime you get rid of like the blue around your eyes, or I mean, you're gonna. Anytime you brighten anything around your eyes, you're gonna look more awake. Yeah. So, but um, I can't put it in these parts here mm -hmm. because if I put it there, what it does is it intensifies this bag. Uh -huh. No, it does. It makes it look even bigger. So I have to resist the urge to put it there and just put it in the corners. And then I actually use the same concealer that I use like for this stuff um, mm -hmm. under my eye. But I, I never conceal it completely. Wait, what did you just conceal your cheeks? I conceal this little... Well, I just oh, dabbed okay. a little mm -hmm. over these things. Even though it's pink-based, I just feel like they need a little bit of assistance. Okay, so this is what happens when I have something that has dead skin, you know, or yes. something right there. Is it actually darkens it. Yes. Or pigments it to a different color. So, so that's I what I meant when I said, can you tell that I have these little hairs here? Because uh -huh. I feel like my foundation goes on so much darker in this area because of the hairs. It's the same, mm -hmm. same thing. Yeah. So I don't know what to do here. Exfoliate. Yep. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> you know, and it's like when I had my pimples on my nose too, and I was trying to conceal them, it would just accentuate them because you know instead of seeing like the red sort of normal black you like spots, a you'd see like a brown concealed sort of bump. You know, and it's yeah, just, I don't know. I mean, but that um, might be you being too overly critical too, because you know part of it is illusion. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it, and just by taking the redness out, people aren't going to notice it as much as a bump. That's true. You know? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. That's all I can see right now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see it, so. Dang it. <laughs> okay. All right. What's your third one? <sighs> this is very hard. Um, I know what my fourth one is, easily. So my third one is between... I'll tell you what it's between. It's between a MAC paint pot and paint relief for my eyelids, which would brighten mm -hmm. up my eyes even more. Mm -hmm. So it looks like this. This is painterly. So I'll show you and then I'll show the camera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's like this. Uh -huh. And um, it would brighten up like this part of my eye a lot and lift mm -hmm. my eyes a lot. The other thing that I would never, like if you'd asked me six months ago, this would never even have been in my list at all. But the other thing is blush. Mm. Um, and I've take, put, come down with a sheer tone shimmer blush from MAC called Peachy Keen. And this is the Real Techniques brush. This is so awesome. It looks really poofy. It's really poofy and it, it really looks like soft. a rabbit tail. Yeah. <laughs> $5.95 at Ulta. That's incredible. Yeah. That is incredible. Um, so this color is the one I brought down. It's like a peachy sort of color. and What is it? Peachy Keen. Is that MAC? Yeah. So mm -hmm. gosh, looks like. this, is the, this is a powder blush. I was looking at their cream blushes yesterday, but cream blushes scare me. Okay. Um, and so the, this one, what this one does is it brightens up my whole face and makes it glow. Mm -hmm. So the question is, <laughs> do I want to brighten up my eyes or do I want to brighten up my whole face, you know? That's a really tough one too. I mean, I have a similar thing too here where I have Indian Wood, my Indian Wood paint pot, which yeah. I love now, just love, love, love. Or any kind of cream shadow. Like, I've used the color tattoo as well. I mean, it's just am amazing. Just go, and you're done. done. I mean, like, yeah. you could just run out the door, and you have color on your lids. You look like you actually put makeup on, and you didn't do anything but just went, yeah. you know, like, uh. And the other thing I have is a little bit cheating, because it's the L'Oreal One Sweep, and it actually is a bronzer and a blush. Yeah. So um, this actually is really great. Now, the thing is, is, like, you know, the eyes are one of, the thing, one of the main things that people, I feel like, really are drawn to when they're talking to you or when they're looking at you. Mm -hmm. But, um, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, man. <laughs> you turn down the sound on my phone so that doesn't happen again. Okay. Um, but then at the same time, whenever I'm outside, and I used to not wear blush that much, yeah. I would go out and you just look so, I mean, you look so sallow, you know, yeah. without, like, Without blush on, I yes. mean, the, the blush just really makes you look youthful and, and energized, and, and yeah, and you can and you can really get away. And I have a feeling what one of yours is that you haven't mentioned yet, and and I think that if you use that, you can get away with not having the paint pot. That's what I'm well. thinking too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not sure anymore. But I, I just I feel like when I was younger, blush wasn't really a necessity. But you have a natural flush, you know, that, that you know, your skin renews, the, the cells that actually generate that kind of natural flush is still there. I mean, like, you, you basically have to, like, stand up and you're like, woo, glow and, like, yeah. all nice and, you know. yeah. and now we're just, like, you know. Now we're just, we're like, tired. <laughs> yeah. You know, all the blood is flowing out of your face, you know, and I, I do feel like whenever you see someone who has blush on, if done properly, you're like, wow, they look like, you know, so like alive, you know, youthful and alive. Yes. So. Yes. So I'm going to go with the blush. Are you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll go with the, so. And I picked this one in particular because I, it, it, I really feel like it's kind of like that natural sort of you stand up and people are looking at you sort of blush. Like it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's a, it's not a pink sort of Bar Barbie doll blush. It's a, mm -hmm. it's more of a glow sort of. So, yeah. Now you you said you apply yours to the tops of your cheeks and then blend down. I don't actually blend whole... down. I blend from. So what I do is I take it from like here from the top uh -huh. of my sort of apple. So like mm -hmm. on top of my apple, mm -hmm. and then sort of up, and I then I blend. This brush sort of poofs down and blends it out. Okay, I see. 
I don't know if, the, see the thing is, on camera too, you need a lot more than you do in person. You do. You do yeah. <laughs> so, I don't want to overdo it because, but I'm not going anywhere, so I might as well put on so it looks good for camera. <laughs> I mean, I, I can get away, I think, with doing it on the apples of my cheeks. I know that Gossip Makeup Artist said not to put them on the apples of your cheeks, but um, I have pretty high cheekbones. So That's what I, I think I too. I have high cheekbones. Yeah, I see so, that. Yeah. So, you know, the Nordic sort of cheekbones. I think you just have to really like, like this is one of the things that I notice about girls and makeup now when you look at videos and stuff. I mean, a lot of them don't even like, you can tell they're not even really looking at their faces. They're yeah. just, they're just doing what everyone else is doing. And like, I think like one of the things that saves you a ton of money when you're starting out on makeup is really, really looking at your face to like figure out what, what, what do I you need? actually need. Yeah. yeah exactly what yeah. you need. And that's exactly what I made the same mistake too when I first started out with makeup. I was like, Oh, I need this, this, and this, you know, like, because everyone else needs this, and this. And then, like, I started, after I started to really, like, I think Lisa Elders was the first one who was like, look in the mirror, you know, she was yeah. like, look, look in, in the, the mirror, mirror and, and see like, what it looks like. Don't yeah, like go like I, this. <laughs> yeah. But look in the, from so. the front and see if it, and I actually bring it up a little just to sort of, because I don't use bronzer. That's like what I'm recording later today is my. Oh, cool. My Your benefit? play with bronzer stuff. Um, benefit? Didn't you get the benefit one? No. What did, which bronzer did you get? Oh, I'll, I'll find out in the video. So. This is tragic because no one is ever going to see the haul that I did because oh, yeah. I formatted my video card and spent all day yesterday when the day from hell trying to get it back and I couldn't. Day sucked, yeah. so, um, so I actually have a Sephora and um, the Nars Laguna. So, yeah. So I, I was I'll, watching a video of a girl who ordered something on Sephora.com and they sent her the Nars Laguna as a sample. Really? I was like, what? And not, not just the Nars Laguna as a sample, they also sent her a bronzer as a sample and they also sent her like uh, uh, the Nars pr the primer as a sample on Sephora.com. I was like, she must what? have had a special code because sometimes on Sephora.com they send you a special code if you're a VIB that you can uh -huh. redeem a special samples if you order that day, which is mm -hmm. why I end up ordering all the time because I got a Tarte bronzer like that, but I think it's too dark for me. I'm too scared of it. It's the Park Avenue mm -hmm. Princess one, which I think is pretty darn dark. So, see, that really brightens your face up a lot. It does. It really does. <laughs> so, so you were using the Eco Tools brush. Yes, this is my Eco Tools brush, blush brush. I bought the big, huge blending brush the day that I bought this, but I've loved this, this so much. That one, yeah. Yeah, this yeah. is a good blending one. Uh, I yeah. like this one for blending. Like anytime I wear, I'm like, I see, I notice where I, you know, I've done something too much. You know, yeah, I just you go can use that this. to sort of. Oh, it's so great for that. Yeah. And. I just want to say one last thing, and then you better check the that. Like um, <laughs> the the Mac brush, blush brush, just I will never use it again after using this. The Mac blush brush leaves black hairs all over my face. Okay, yeah, yeah no. so the I I ones seem to be all right, but then the rest of them. And I'm just like, that's a shame because they're, I mean, they're not that ex exorbitantly expensive. I mean, I've looked at the prices, yeah. they're fine, you know, but, um, for what they're, you know, everyone's like, I gotta have a Mac, I gotta have a Mac. But well, I like, can't remember what the blush brush cost, but it was a, a lot more than this. Oh yeah, it, they're somewhere between like, anywhere between 16 and $25. Did you give range. me the blush brush? No. No, I got you the Sigmas. Yes. I got you all Sigmas. Yes, okay. okay. I must've ordered it. Yeah. <laughs> like your, your, your February favorites was like, all the stuff I got you. I was like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, my next one's super easy. Super easy. Like, if I only could wear one makeup product, <laughs> mascara. it would be mascara. <laughs> yeah. In, <laughs> I mean, I, I didn't know if curly, a curler was cheating. I think it kind of is, so I didn't bring it down. I think I think they go hand in hand, honestly. Oh, okay. I think they go hand in I hand. I didn't bring it down, but yeah. that doesn't matter because I hardly 
like remember to use my curler anyway. <laughs> so you got it. I mean, that, that's just, it's so huge. It opens your eyes. I know. Eyes I know. When I do, but usually what I'm doing is I'm going like this, and I've got my mascara. And I put on the first turn. Uh. I go, oh God, I didn't curl him. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I have to curl my lashes. They're just so straight, you know, yeah. like, and um, they they, clo they really close your eyes when they slant downwards like that. So mm -hmm. I always, I, I mean, I'm still, I'm, I figured it out. Whatever, I think it was Revlon, Revlon curlers. What happens is, I don't, do you have yours with you? No, I didn't bring them down, yeah. you see. That's okay. Um, <clears throat> you know how you, you, they're usually scissor-like, right? And they clamp yeah. down like this. The mechanism to actually, to, to clamp down the actual uh, hinge comes on the inside of the of the of my curlers. Okay. So when I go to like push the thing next to my eye, yes. it's not built to come close to the eye. It's it's built for people who have like Ooh. really long <laughs> lashes. Yeah. yeah. So I have noticed like um, like the elf brushes, and I was looking at the uh, Kevin Kwan and you know all the it's high end. It's supposed to be really good. They're straight, and then they have their mechanism for curling, or for the, the hinge is on the outside, which is how it should be. So yeah. I think, although I thought I was relegated to having only this, which kind of sucks because it's spring-loaded, um, I'm going to go find one that actually, you know... I've heard so much good stuff down. about the Kevin Aquan. Well, yeah, and I think it's an investment, because, I mean, I think it was in Lisa Eldridge's favorites, and it's been in her, she said she only uses that one and the Shoe Your Mirror one. Mm. Like those are the only two she uses like ever. In every video you see, she's using that one. Yeah. So, but I think I'm gonna try the Elf one first just to see if I can get back to, it's yeah. only like 80 cents. So yeah. I'm gonna use the Elf one and then if it, that seems to work for me, then might upgrade, I don't know, like maybe. Um, yeah, <laughs> if you're lucky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, I can't justify spending that much on an eyelash curler yet, so yeah. So which mascara did you choose? This is, I've just, actually, this is odd, because this was my sample when I went to Diglass. And this is the Shiseido uh, mascara, perfect mascara, full definition, uh, BK901 Black Noir. And I just love it. Like, I don't, it's, it's got the, it's super brushy like yeah. this. So it picks up on all the fine hairs in between my, um, Longer my lashes. lashes. Yeah. And I have, you know, I have the Rimmel, I have the L'Oreal, I have the uh, Bourjois, and I have the, um, the bad gal. Yes. Method. And so far, this one's my favorite. So I might have to go invest in Shiseido, but I really don't want to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I chose it's, the it's, it's, Shocking by YSL. Uh, YSL. Yeah, because like, if I could put on eyeliner, I would probably choose one that's less volumizing, but mm -hmm. more definition. But because mm -hmm. I don't have space for an eyeliner. I'm going mm -hmm. to, um, I have to, I have to go with the, the, some more volumizing and bushier, um, it's, it's just thicker in application and I feel like mm -hmm. it almost gives me an eyeliner too. So just, yeah. yeah. Although because I have hooded eyes, I can actually get away with not wearing any mascara and just using black eyeliner. And that, that really makes me look like I have really thick lashes, even though I don't. Because but you have really dark lashes. Yes. 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 I have very dark yes. lashes. Yes. Whereas I have like, they're like invisible. Well, they're, they, they're dark at the root, but then they turn like just about invisible towards their ends. So I can't get away with not wearing mascara. Yeah, I just love this one. I mean, it... it it volumizes all the way to the tips, you know, yeah. um, and it, it adds volume both in length and in, um, in width as well, so. And I think it just really makes a huge difference. It really does. But maybe that's just me. I don't know. No, I could see the difference between your eyes. See, now you can see the total difference between, to me anyway, between this eye and that eye. You can mm -hmm. on the camera. I don't know if you can on the Skype. Yeah. I can see a total difference. I feel like all of a sudden you can see where my eye begins and ends. Sort of.
You did your bottom ones really fast. I don't do my bottom ones. Oh, okay. Um, I have to be careful because dark stuff under my eyes will emphasize any line I have under my eyes. Oh, okay. Um, mm -hmm. So I just, I prefer, and I've heard this on a lot of videos where they talk about for older women or if you have droopy, you know, lids, don't even think about doing anything under your eyes because, mm. because you're mm -hmm. emphasizing the dragging down rather mm -hmm. than lifting up. So, yeah. So I don't even do them. They say it makes you look older. To do the lower ones? Mm -hmm. yeah. But I think, they mean, I think they just mean mature. Like you don't look young, like kid young. I don't know, I don't really get it. I, don't, I guess I can kind of see that. It looks more sophisticated, I suppose, than not having anything there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't it depends. know. Yeah. It depends. If you have a really big, beautiful eye, to outline the whole mm -hmm. thing is gorgeous. But mm -hmm. you know, I don't. I I I have a small eye. I don't need to make it, you know, smaller. Yeah, that's why I never <laughs> never put eyeliner underneath my eye. Yeah. It just closes my eye like incredibly, yeah. like huge. Oh, I put like lighter ones. You know. Yeah. Colors yeah, there. lighter ones. What's your last yeah. thing? Yours is lip gloss. Yeah, I. Yeah, I have two options. I have either lipstick or lip gloss. It used to be only lip gloss. Yeah, it did. No, it has to be gloss you... because just yeah. because my lips are so dry, I have mm -hmm. to have lip gloss with color. Does it feel sticky when you put it on? A little, Does but it have, not like feel kind of sticky not like slimy. a Mac sticky. Like Mac lip glasses can be really sticky. I don't like those. I don't like the ones where like when I'm talking, it feels like my lips are sticking yeah, together. Yeah, that's <laughs> why I can't do lip gloss. It just it feels like yeah, yeah, you know, like yeah. Like I have something weird. No, I like the on my tube lips. ones much better than I like mm -hmm. the sort of ones with an applicator. Um, mm -hmm. They are lighter, I think, like lighter consistency. So, yeah, I, I, I was going to bring the Clinique that I have like every color of the Clinique Moisture Shine uh, because, no, not Clinique, that's what I'm holding in my hand. I was going to bring the Neutrogena Moisture Shine because mm. that's what mm -hmm. I use every day, but I use a clear one over my lipstick. But I actually decided to bring down the Clinique that I used in my outfit of the day yesterday because mm -hmm. I really like it. It's a nice consistency and it has a little bit of color. So, yeah. Mm. What about you? I'm using my Revlon, uh, not Revlon, um, Maybelline Superstay 24. Yeah. It's my go-to. Yeah. This is always Heather. You don't even have to look. Yep. <laughs> always <laughs> Heather. And it has like, you know, one side is an applicator like that. And it's like a stain, which is great because I, you know, like I said, I, if it's, if it's just a surface thing, which I actually have been trying the new you know, application for lip techniques with lipstick and, and um, the lip pencil. And that actually has been working a lot better, like to try it, to put it on as a stain like I saw in that, the latest Lisa yes. Seldrish video. Um, but not, still not as much as this. I mean, okay. this is still, this is a stain stain. And then like on the, on the other end is like the little waxy sort of like gloss you put on top yeah. of it to sort of protect it. But I've been using, instead I'm just using my Burt's Bees instead. Yeah. You know, because it has a little bit of a tint to it as yeah. well. Yeah. So I just sort of use your finger. Oh no, you. Use I use that okay. tube because yeah, I'm the only one who uses it. <laughs> and this is almost for my comfort as much as for the beauty, because without lip gloss, I just feel like my lips are so dry. Can't you just use chapstick? I hate chapstick. What? It how is it any different than lip gloss? I mean, it's not. Better. Well, it's drier. Um, really? I, oh, have, I guess it's yeah. It's not as wet. It's yeah. not as wet, and I when it dries down, you can it, it goes. I have a lipstick video coming out tomorrow, which for people watching this will be a couple of days ago. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I talk about like the state of my lips. The state of my lips, even using exfoliators, even moisturizing all the time, is really there are lots of little bits that are different consistency than other bits and mm -hmm. chapstick will once it dries down will show those bits whereas a gloss mm -hmm. sort of mm -hmm. smooths over it 
I see. Yeah. So, yeah. So we really kind of had the same things. Yeah, we did. Um, I think um, we come from the same schools. <laughs> 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 but I, you know, I would be surprised if other girls would choose something different, or other women would choose something different. You know, um, I mean, lips are huge, obviously, right? Yeah. Because I mean, they bring, they bring either color or shine to a pretty dull lip. You know, um, I think the only thing that might change is maybe instead of mascara, someone might have chosen eyeliner. Um, yeah. And if someone has, if someone, like I have bangs and you have pretty dark lash, eyebrows anyway. Yeah, but somebody if might. If someone had super, super light, they probably would have chosen like, you know, um, brow. Yeah. Um, yeah. Something or other. I was thinking, oh but, gosh, I can't bring my brow stuff down. I can't. Yeah. Get, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And if you're, if you're young, I mean, you may not choose blush, you know. And, yeah. And hey, if you're even younger, you probably wouldn't even need concealer or Definitely um, not foundation. Foundation, yeah. yeah. I, I, if you're in your 20s, you don't need foundation. No. Decided. Unless you've got, like, dermatological yeah. sort of yeah. issues. Yeah. The, other, the other thing that I really was missing is um, my flesh color, the Tarte Emphasize that I use. I use it on my waterline, mm -hmm. especially when my eyes are a little red from, like, allergy irritation. And I was mm -hmm. really missing bringing that down. I thought, oh. Oh my god I can't bring it yeah, so. yeah but I guess in a way this is sort of like this would be like your five minute makeup right I mean, yeah like in the end, I could like, do this, this in five be, minutes yeah yeah so and this is what I do like this is what I do whenever um, actually I usually if I'm in a rush I'll skip the foundation entirely and just go with concealer and then I go out the door and I'm like oh my god <laughs> like I should not have skipped the foundation. What what, the, what I've been doing is using that Laura Mercier um, tinted moisturizer on mornings when I'm in a hurry. Instead of doing mm -hmm. like my my Chanel moisturizer, and so I've just grabbed the Laura what Mercier. What you use? Nude. Nude. Okay. Yeah. So I'll find yeah. a couple. I, I'm trying to find a decent tinted moisturizer. Yeah. Um, but, um, is the other one called Sand? You might use Sand. Sand is the one I use for Derma Vichy blend, so yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like having a friend to get ready with. Yeah. <laughs> Let's put our makeup on together. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. <sighs> what are we doing next time? Um, I believe it's carry on items. Oh, carry on items. Yeah. 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 I think. Yeah, and no, that's it. You yeah. heading off to New Zealand. Yeah, no, that's right. <laughs> that's correct. That's right. That'll be fun. Yay! So, All right. Well, I, I get a lot of us, yeah. I get a lot of um, positive comments about our five for fives. By the oh, way, oh really? That's so good. it's nice that people say that. So I appreciate everyone sitting through our little conversations. Yeah, <laughs> and hey, if if you want to leave a comment or a response about like what you would have picked for your five items, yeah, I'm definitely interested in hearing what. Would have been different because ours were so similar. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Talk to you guys later. Okay. Bye. Bye. -bye.